Jacksonville, Florida is the site for this matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims, and we have an outstanding matchup for you today. Two undefeated teams about to meet, one of whom will go home with an L for the very first time. How about this matchup, partner? I think what's exciting about this game today is the fact that they both have that zero in the loss column. It puts a little pressure on the players and the coaches. They know it's big because there's nothing like having to focus on you if you stay undefeated. We'll find out who can handle the nerves and get this job done today. Both teams played well last week, Phil. They both won. I don't know how much of a factor that'll be, but we're getting set for kickoff. It's always a factor when you play well, it makes you believe in what you're doing. And when you believe, that even makes you better than your talent level. So this is gonna be fun to watch. First and ten, handoff, taking off, shakes off the hit, gains 15. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back, good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. First down here after the run. Play action. Stands in the pocket. Makes the play. Muscles through the defender. And that's a touchdown, and they inch closer. Good job by the offense. They get in there, they tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. in a good situation, so a good, positive run. Big moment here for the defense, lined up at the 46 defense. We'll run it with him again. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Third and two here after the run. They'll run it off the ball. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Not sure why they're going to go for it at this point. But they are. They're not going to punt. They hand it off to him again. He's got some daylight. Touchdown! Now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. First and ten. He gets it again on this drive. And here he goes. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by the pass. Good job that time by the running back. First down here. Ohio! Ohio! Play fake here. Looking down the field. The defense gets the sack. If you can see the defense is going to try to pressure as a quarterback, you've got to know how to adjust. So don't give those play action fakes. Get in position and get rid of that football. 
Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. If you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Nice catch. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. And you see zone defenses throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. Has some space to work with. Good job by the running back that time. Breaking tackles, finding the open hole, and picking up those extra yards. About to take the snap inside the 20. First down and 10. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's in for the score. What a good job by the wide receiver. Not a terrific pass, but he just goes in there, makes a wonderful catch for the touchdown. and 10. It's handed to the running back, and he's brought to the ground. When you have defensive ends that like to go on the field, and they think they're going to get to the quarterback, you know what you do to those kind of defensive ends? You run draw plays and screens underneath them, take advantage of the fact that they're not reading their keys. Trying to work the middle of the field. That time, awesome job by avoiding the sack by the quarterback. Gets out of trouble, gets outside. Hey, even though he doesn't get a completion, Good job avoiding the negative yards. So after that last incompletion, it is third and three. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Hey, how about this decision? They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Eyeing that left side. Touchdown, Jazz. Boy, that is something to watch, isn't it? A Hail Mary pass that goes for a touchdown. You think, there is no chance this is going to work. But every once in a while, you get lucky. That's what the offensive did. They got lucky, and they get the touchdown. and 10. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. You got to keep your offensive line aggressive. So you got to let them run the football so they can hit those defensive linemen. The run didn't pick up many yards, but it still served the purpose. The safety near the line of scrimmage. They feed him the ball again. That tackle made by Brian Erlacher. Three-yard gain on the play. This is third down. Another carry here. Breaks away. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was. Gets it there and he moves those chains. First down here. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip. And now looking to throw. Knocked down. 
What a good job by the defense at back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defense at back in great position knocks it down. Coming up, second down. Maurice Jones drew. Number 32 with the carry on the play. Gain of three. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Getting away from the pressure. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throws the ball very well on the run for the completion. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. They give it to the running back. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. This offense, they are methodical, aren't they? It's kind of boring to watch. First down, first down, first down. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Running away from the sack, and the quarterback <laughs> is taken down. Loss of seven. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. And he wants to throw it across the middle. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. That is play number 10 on this drive. Brought to a halt. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired, and when you get tired, you make mistakes. First down and 10. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Brings it in. And that's a gain of 10. This is why I like quarterbacks who get underneath the center a lot. When you get underneath the center, you can deceive the defense because they cannot see where the football is. You can fake reverses. You can fake the run. You got these play action passes that generally work and get you some easy completions. To the ground here. Up the middle. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. The offense heads to the line for the fourth, and he's across for the touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch. The other <laughs> 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. and 10 staying on the ground that brings the play to an end when you see a long run like that you know what it does it just breaks the will of the defense in the nfl it's all about passing we see all these wonderful things but when it comes down to it who can win the war up front and you win the war by running the football great job on the offensive line that time that time it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play action pass and it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense, and the quarterback took advantage. Number 32 gets the call on the way. Seven yard gain on the play. Ohio! Ohio! Second and three after that last carry. Back to the ground. The ball is out. That is not a turnover. That is truly a takeaway by the defense. Their hustle to the football. Now 
now first and ten. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. That's a gain of six. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. In on the stop. Oh, there's nothing like a play-action pass. When the offensive linemen make it look like it's a run, the linebackers are all near the line of scrimmage and easy to throw it down the field for that completion. It's first down as they head to the line. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. And that's a gain of 10. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Two tight ends on the field here. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. No separation at all. Incomplete. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air. Nickel formation for the defense here. The quarterback will hand it off. Games 14. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. From inside the red zone, so dangerous. This is a five-step drop back. Working that left side. Touchdown, Jaguars. That was a nice job that time by the offense, driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off the defense. The coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Ohio! Ohio! Black round! Black round! Ohio! The quarterback's Ohio. calling something out. That's it. This game is over. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade, G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild the muscles.
the silver and black of Raider Nation are geared up for this week seven matchup between the Jaguars and the Raiders. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, I know the undefeated team hopes not, but I'll tell you, Jim, the other team, they're excited about getting out there and getting the chance to put that first blemish on the record. You're always looking for an edge, and when you go against an undefeated team, that's a big edge for your football team. We've got one of the hottest teams in the game on the field today, riding a five-game winning streak. And, man, they're hot for a lot of reasons. Healthy. Everybody believes the quarterback, my gosh, if the guy even looks like he's going to get open, he is putting the ball on the money. They are hot, and they're going to be tough to beat. Dropping back to throw, running for his life, and he's forced to the ground. Oh, there's nothing worse early in a football game to get sacked by the defense if you're a quarterback. Now you sit there and go, is this going to happen all day long? Does it change the process how you play? Do you get rid of the football quicker? A lot of things go through a quarterback's mind. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you've got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, It'll probably lead to a turnover. Out of the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. He leaps up to grab it. The tackle is 